Okay, guys, welcome to phase two of the RC new of the new RCV course per se RCV 2.0, whatever you want to call it. Um, so the entire focus of phase two is pretty much everything structure related, um, and it's going to be broken down from anatomy to what a structural range is, structural ranges inside structural ranges, right? Confluence with structural ranges and analyzing continuation BOS versus reversal BOS and then differentiating breaker structures from um, liquidity grabs, okay? So video number one, structural anatomy. What does structural anatomy mean? Structural anatomy is essentially the characterization of specific but relative time frames to match certain levels of structure. So the reason why I say specific but relative is because I don't want you to have um, a, so, a pretty much a solidified time frame per level of structure. Why? Because there's so many to choose from. And from what I use, I only use about six levels of structure, three or four of them on a regular basis. Okay, so I'd rather create a relative um, quote unquote range of time frames so that we can match those levels of structure and it's easy for you to understand overall direction and even short term direction. Okay, so the reason behind, you know, taking this type of approach is it becomes very detailed and it's hard to miss um, or hard to essentially get your direction wrong um, when you understand every single level of structure. And as we will cover in the next video, how to cover um, points of liquidity, solidify structure points, um, you know, stuff like that. So essentially where we're going to start here right is i've made a list right but this is only relative right do not just write down what's on the screen and just start using that for yourself you have to study this you have to look into the charts and you have to see what works for you why because the same way that i look at structure will not be the same way you look at structure which will be not the same as the person next to you or the other member is looking at structure right everything is pretty much subjective to our perception okay so the reason why I did you know make a list here is to pretty much have um, so pretty much give you something to work off of right so for example right your position time frames your position trades right these can last weeks years um, these are your extremely long holds which can be anywhere from um, a couple of weeks to a couple of months to even a couple of years okay so right instead of having the one week here oh actually that's just the time frame I'll just leave that as right these are per, per not predominantly the um, range of time frames that I would typically use for that okay next is your swing level of structure so these swings can last anywhere from a couple of days to a couple of weeks okay and the reason for that, right, I mean, and because of that is the reason why I'm using the one day and the three day, because it's it gives you a wide range of data, but not as much as a position, but not as little as a, a major intraday time frame. OK, so I would predominantly stay in the daily time frames for your swing direction. And depending on your pair, depending on how much it moves, how fast it moves, you can go through the different time frames. OK. Next is your major intraday. These trades, I mean, these these moves, typically, I would say anywhere from 12 to 24 hours, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, right? As I said, it's all relative. And I would stick to essentially anywhere between H1 and H4 for this, okay? Next is your minor intraday, right? So I pretty much um, narrowed this down to essentially the... Um, quote unquote legs inside of major intraday. So if a major intraday is 12 to 24 hours, I would say the minor intraday is anywhere from two to six. Um, obviously, like I said, don't take that with a grain of salt and go check this out yourself. All right. And now below minor intraday is your scalping um, timeframes, which are going more so into your M1, M3. Right. And I'm sorry if I didn't say minor intraday, minor intraday would be more so um, your essentially medium term um, time frames inside of your minutes time frames which would be m10 m30 m15 m20 uh, maybe even m45 right like i said test this out 
right next to scalping right which are pretty much the legs inside of your minor intraday legs right so these will be any be anywhere from I'd like to say no more than an hour um, anywhere from 30 45 minutes to an hour would be kind of ideal um, for me right and then your micro which is gonna be your seconds time frames and your M1 time frames okay so we're gonna get into chart breakdowns right now but I am not gonna cover microstructure and let me tell you why because for one right for the beginner in this course I don't want you to start diving into M1 and diving into seconds time frames and just start executing trades because you think you know um, all of this. So the reason why I'm only going to cover position to scalp is because I want you to learn how to analyze those time frames and use your discoveries to then learn how to read microstructure. Okay, so I just don't want the mistake of a lot of old new members um, to essentially come back for the newer members, um, which was essentially executing based off smaller time frame, not knowing what they're doing, not testing, being lazy. Okay, so I'm gonna let that be a quote unquote, I guess, homework assignment for you. Um, if you even care to use micro time frames, right? You don't need micro time frames, right? You you very well, you could be, you'll be very well with only using scalping time frames, minor intraday time frames, and you can easily get your one to tens, one to fifteens. Um, and then as you understand overall direction, that's where you can get your one to forties, one to fifties, right? But our art isn't everything, right? And we're going to keep discussing this as we go through the course. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to essentially break down a couple of, of moves for you here, right? So if you're watching this after you watch the next video, which is going to talk about structural ranges and solidified structure points, right? I'm not using those rules here because this is only going to be an introductory portion of structure. So if you think, oh, that's not a solidified structure point. Why are you using it? Don't worry about it. I just want to expose you to what I'm trying to portray in this message, which is essentially understanding that moves, legs, are composed of legs of legs and those legs are composed of other legs etc 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 okay so right as we can see here right high low high low high low high right and the reason why I left this as an orange is this is a topic we're going to cover down um, in this phase so if we were to break this high this is now an unwillingness point and a switch of trend okay so from there we break down an individual um, macro range there position range there into now your swings okay high low high low high low high low right so you see how this composition is inside of this comp composition here which is originally here okay so now we break it down even further Right, and don't mind the time frames. Right, I was kind of um, limited to the levels of time frames, especially as I go into the scalping level and the minor intraday level. So don't worry too much about that. Just worry about the principle of breaking down legs and seeing legs inside of legs. Okay, so high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, etc., etc., etc. Here, right. So now, as you can see, these are the legs. Right, that compose this these swing ranges. Right, so we now break that down even further. Right, <clears throat> right as you can see, our blue, our light blue, our light blue, our dark blues here. So we're now breaking down the dark blues. Okay, this is now your major intraday. Okay, major intraday, the legs inside. Of these legs right and now you can break it down even further into your minor inch sorry about that right your minor intraday here right high low 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 low high high low high low 
high, low, etc., etc., etc. So you see how we're breaking this down to understand direction. So the main point behind all of this is so you can understand what your position structure is, what your swing structure is, what your intraday's um, levels of structure are, your scalping structures, and you want to essentially correlate them, right? So that you can now understand your directional bias, and if they all match, then the probability of your trade going in your favor immensely increases. Okay, that's the entire point of breaking down structure. <laughs> right, so our next example is here on gold, right? Low high, low high, low high, low high. Okay, right here, as you can see now, our swing level of structure, right? Low high, low high, low high, low high, right? So in an ideal scenario, if you're buying at any low, even these continuations here, right? Then you're following the overall trend. Okay, we now come here, which is essentially, right, our minor intraday or a major intraday, I'm sorry. Right, which is low, high, 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 etc. So you see now see this that I'm breaking this down. Okay, so now we break that down even further here. Okay. Right, starting from the left, low, high, low, high, low, high, right? Notice that they're all, every single leg is very distinct in in not only distance, but that also means time, right? So I, uh, that's why I want to keep the quote unquote, how long a specific level of structure's leg is. I wanna keep that relative. Why? Because everything is so different. So I'm just analyzing highs and lows based off of higher levels of structure, okay? so. I'm going to end it off here at my minor intraday. And what I want you guys to do is go back into this chart to this price point, the 1700s, right around June 5th of, I believe, was this 2018, 2019 area? And I want you guys to, if you want, you don't have to do this, right? I want you to now break any of these legs down, right? And I want you to break down now the scalping portion of these ranges right which would be from example here to here pretty much the legs here that you see okay so i want you guys to do that um if you want you can send it to me i will correct you as needed um but other than that that's probably going to wrap up this first video um not too not too complicated right all you really need to know is understand legs right i didn't give a definition for a leg because all I consider a leg is essentially, as you can see, a leg of structure, a leg of structure, right? And even legs here. So the important part is differentiating your time frames based off of your level of structure, right? And it, although it's going to be extremely confusing at first, um, with time, it will make a lot more sense. All right, guys. So I will see you guys in the next video.